The automatic transmission is perhaps the most complicated mechanical component in an automobile. The automatic transmission combines electrical and mechanical systems, hydraulics, and computer processors to smoothly shift through the gears and transfer engine power to the drive wheels. There are three basic types of automatic transmissions found throughout the world. The dual clutch transmission, or DCT. The continuously variable transmission, or CVT. And the step type transmission. This video will explain the basic operations of a step type transmission and why the right automatic transmission fluid is absolutely critical to its proper functioning and longevity. There are several main components that make up a step type transmission. The pump supplies pressurized transmission fluid for many uses throughout the unit. Planetary gear sets provide the chosen gear ratios for the vehicle. Clutches or clutch packs engage and disengage the gear sets. The torque converter connects the transmission to the engine and multiplies the torque during initial acceleration. It uses two turbines which spin independently, but which are fluid coupled, allowing the engine to idle while the vehicle is stopped and produce smoother acceleration as it shifts through the gears. Finally, the mechatronics is the brain of the transmission, a complex system of ports, valves, and electronics that control all transmission functions. Now, let's see how these components work together. At idle in park, the pump components spin, providing the pressurized fluid needed to operate the transmission. When the vehicle is placed in drive, clutches connect the gear set for first gear to the wheels, and when you release the brake, the car begins to move. The gears are engineered to withstand the extreme pressures and wear of continuous high-speed operation. As the vehicle accelerates, second gear clutches and planetary gears are engaged. After more acceleration, second gear disengages and the clutches and gears for third gear are deployed. All the other gear combinations work the same way. The mechatronics brain calculates the vehicle speed, the engine load, and the positions of the throttle and brake, among other factors. It then sends high-pressure transmission fluid to engage the proper clutch packs and shift the gears. The one component of the entire system that's critical to all these parts working together is the automatic transmission fluid, or ATF. Every ATF is a precise blend of different chemicals because it has to do a lot of different jobs. It acts as a hydraulic fluid to engage clutch packs and shift the gears. It acts as a corrosion inhibitor and wear protection for the planetary gear sets. It has to flow easily from minus 40 degrees Celsius to over 200, even in fine valve assemblies. And it's got to have low conductivity and be compatible with all electronic components. The ATF precisely controls friction in the clutch packs and maintains it throughout the drain interval, perhaps the most important property of an ATF. And finally, it provides lubrication to the hundreds of moving parts, even under high temperatures and extreme pressures. Modern ATFs include friction modifiers, special agents for anti-wear and anti-corrosion, and chemicals to enhance high heat performance and maintain a specific viscosity. So using the right ATF is critical to the performance and long life of your transmission. And using the wrong fluid can be catastrophic. At worst, you can cause excessive wear in pumps, gears, and bearings, leading to permanent damage and the need to replace your transmission. A single mechanical failure could disable the vehicle entirely. The automatic transmission is one of the most complex components in your car, and it's also one of the most expensive. So follow the manufacturer's suggested service intervals and use only OEM quality parts and the OEM recommended ATF to help maintain the life of your transmission. You'll be glad you did.